Hi, this is uh, Danny Morrow again in Tucson, Arizona. And I want to give my Skype ID. I always do this so that people can communicate with me if they're reasonable people. <clears throat> uh, if you're going to add me to your Skype list, it would be William D. Marrow Jr., United States of America, Tucson, Arizona. My email address is Danny. D-A-N-N-Y period Marrow, M-A-R-R-O-W at gmail.com and my Skype ID is Danny, D-A-N-N-Y period Marrow, M-A-R-R-O-W. Muslims in America have infiltrated and that's precisely what it is, an infiltration process into high schools, into universities and colleges in America. And in some cases, religious colleges such as the Roman Catholic uh, University in Washington, D.C. Now what they do is they infiltrate in a small group and then they begin to try to use our freedoms as American to uh, impose their religious beliefs upon all the other students there. I do not believe, and I am sorry to say that it has happened, there should be any special place set aside for Muslims to pray unless the university, the college, or the high school will set aside 220 different rooms for other religions in America to have a place to pray. This is ridiculous. The same thing with Jim. Uh, Muslims in some of the uh, colleges and universities and high schools uh, have refused to dress out for Jim. The same lie that's against their religion then what they need to do is go to another school, like a Muslim school, where they're free to exercise their religion. But for the Muslims to tell a Catholic university in Washington, D.C. that they are offended by a crucifix in the classroom is not only ridiculous and absurd, but it's stupid. And all it is is a ploy to cause the university to allow them special attention because they are Muslims. And this is morally wrong and it's legally wrong under the Constitution of the United States of America. And of course, this is what they do. They're trying to do the same in the legal system to impose a Sharia law upon Muslims in America. Well, if they're so hungry for Sharia law, they have planes that fly to the Middle East every day. Why don't you get on one and then you're free to practice Sharia law and then you're free to beat up the women. Then you're free to throw the women out in the streets. Then, then you're free if a woman is caught uh, in a sexual relationship and the man is not stoned, but then uh, the uh, people stone the woman. This pagan religion is ridiculous and that's all it is it's a religion that worships the former demon moon god of the pagan arabs and i tell you right now eventually in this country it's going to lead to bloodshed in the streets the american people are not going to support the takeover of our religious systems, our educational systems, and legal systems by a bunch of Muslims and homosexuals and lesbians and transgender and transvestites and uh, uh, cross-dressing people in this country. It's not going to happen. And sooner or later, with these people pushing upon us their beliefs and they're thinking there's going to be a terrible, terrible reaction. Now, I'm not a prophet, do not claim to be a prophet, 
but I have studied history and I know the history of my country, the United States of America. And I'm telling you, this is not going to work here. I'm very sorry that the Catholic University in Washington, D.C., and I'm not a Catholic. I want to make that perfectly clear. I would never become a Catholic, and I would never become a Muslim any more than I would become a Mormon but I respect their rights to practice their religion separately without trying to impose it on somebody else. And uh, when you get to the stage of trying to impose it and it doesn't work, then the next stage is that what happens in Saudi Arabia when a woman was just recently arrested for driving a car, that women cannot drive a car? Is that what happens in Nigeria when a woman was stoned to death, a 19-year-old girl, for, for being a prostitute because she was caught having sexual relations? Is that what happens in other uh, Muslim countries when they burn down the uh, churches of Christians and they kill the Christians because they're just, they're simply Christians? They're not forcing people to become a Christian, but the Muslims always want to force those that are not a Muslim to become one and if they refuse they ultimately kill them and their families. Even in New Jersey a man made a comment on uh, the internet and they went by and killed him and, no, and they haven't been caught yet. And this happened to a, a woman and her two daughters who were married to a Muslim and uh, because of his abuse of the two teenage daughters because they wanted to go to a senior prom at the high school, uh, he beat them up and uh, the wife had, had had enough and they wanted a divorce. He then convinced them to come back and, and that would be no problem. He took the two young girls, 16 and 17, out for a ride in his car and shot them dead and then fled the country and they haven't found him yet. I'm sick and tired of the Muslims in America crying victim when they are the uh, predators and they are the problem and not the people that are victims of their ridiculous, phony, pagan religion. Thank you very much.